Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinity CAD. In this video, I will show you how to design this part in SOLIDWORKS. We will follow this drawing. In this, first of all, we have to create one circle of diameter 30 mm and then we have to extrude it 100 mm. After that, we will draw this helix and draw this heads. So first of all, I have created here a new part. Then I'll select here front plane and sketch. Select a circle. Draw one circle like this. Select smart dimension and give this circle diameter of 30 mm. OK. Right click, select. Now we will select here features and select extruded boss base. Reverse this direction by clicking here. Make here blind. Give here distance to be 100 mm. And then select OK. To make this part fit to screen, press F button. And you will see it is fit to screen. Now select here chamfer. And we have to select this edge. And this backside edge. 2 mm into 45 degree. Next, OK. Now we will go to reference and select plane. First reference will be this face. Flip offset so that its direction will be flipped. Give here distance to be 8 mm and then select OK. Now select this plane and make it sketch. On this plane, we have to select here convert entities and select this edge outside. OK. OK. Now we'll go to features and select from curves, helix, and spiral. Now we have to select here height and revolutions from this height and revolutions. Give here height to be 80 mm. Number of revolutions will be 6 mm and if your direction will be in this side, you have to select your reverse direction. Okay. Starting angle will be 0 degree and clockwise. You can see it in the preview. Now select OK. Now just select this plane and you can see here option to hide. Click on it and it will be hidden. Now click on top plane and select sketch. Now I will select here one center rectangle and draw one rectangle here like this. Now let's assign some dimensions to this smart dimension. Give this height to be 6 mm, enter. This length will be 4 mm. Right click and make it select. Now we have to select the center point of this rectangle, the center point. And then we'll select this helix and make it pierce. Now we'll go to features and select here swept boss space. In the curve, we have to select this rectangle and select this helix then. Okay. Now select here. Okay. After this, we have to select this helix and spiral and make it hide. Control plus 7 for the isometric view. Now we have to select here fillet and select this edge of the thread and same as it is this edge. Both edges are now selected. Keep here radius to be 3 mm. And then select OK. Now let's assign some appearance to this model. So go to appearances, select here still, and from that polish still, 
and after this our part is completed i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it please make sure to like share and subscribe us thanks for watching